This is a short demonstration on how to perform a pack and go in SolidWorks assemblies. This is the assembly that I want to send to another computer or perhaps submit to an instructor. You open the top level assembly. That's what this is. This is the top level. It's got all the parts in it. You go to the file menu, select the pack and go option. You may want to include drawings, include toolbox components, and you probably don't need to include suppressed components. If you suppress them, you probably suppress them because you don't want them in your assembly. If you have multiple configurations, however, you may want to include suppressed components. Then go save to zip file, browse to where you want the file saved. In this case, I'm going to create a new folder for it. Give it a name. Press this save button, and then you have to press this save button. Once it completes, we should be able to go look in the folder and see that there is a zip file there. In the zip file, you should see all the parts related to the assembly. And that's it. That's how you create a pack and go in SolidWorks.